this trip is kind of like someone who practice it, who's practicing shooting with a bow, a bow and arrow. And for five years, they shoot at a target all the time. You know, eventually they're going to want to get the real animal. On September 3rd, 2011, sea kiker and primitive living skills expert Fox X set out on a 120 mile journey along Vancouver Island's rugged north coast. The idea behind the trip was to go out to Vancouver Island and take only things that I had made in a primitive fashion and, and was to just go there and thrive. How many people did you run into? What did they think of you when they saw you? My fear was that someone was going to make a complaint about me not having a life jacket. Some kid just took off all his clothes and put on a loincloth and hopped into a sky hat. That's clearly handmade. You can see right through the hull of the boat. Vancouver Island is just notorious for crazy weather and big, big water. I was so intimidated and so terrified of the power of the ocean at this point, I didn't know what to do but paddle. Just tell myself, no limits, no regrets, I'm in the water, I can't turn back. It was six to eight foot waves uh, crashing on top of me. It was on a head trip to think that I could paddle out and surf like this. My feet were infected. I had a sprained left ankle, two sprained right toes. Yeah, my body was beat up. My shoulders, my head, my shoulders were killing me. But I made it. I had paddled 30 miles. I had hiked 30 miles to get there. And I did it in a pair of Chaco sandals and in a pair of shorts. And they want to they wanna shut me down. They want to tell me that my dream is worthless. These people were unsupportive. They would bring a tray to the table and I wanted nothing to do with it. They could keep their food. They could keep their water. They could keep their warmth. They could keep their wood. I didn't want it. The storms at this point were crazy. It was already four days nonstop rain. This was the most difficult hike. You couldn't walk half, half a mile without slipping and falling. I knew if I stop now, I wouldn't wake up. So I had to keep pushing, and I kept pushing, and I kept pushing, and I kept pushing. The mind motivates, not the body. I love pushing myself to the limit. This trip was a huge testament to what a person can do with just willpower alone. 